Two community meetings are planned for tonight. The first in Tijera says people north of the fire worry the wind will blow flames in their direction. A lot of people have already evacuated their homes in that stretch from Chilili to Tijeras. And a lot more are waiting to see if they're next. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live in Tijeras. Madeline. Well, Jessica, we're at Roosevelt Middle School where this community meeting is expected to begin here in about 30 minutes. People hope that this will clarify the details of this fire, like how close it is and who needs to be evacuating. Well, we're packing up as many valuables as we can, uh, trying to figure out how much time we have, whether or not the fire's, you know, how close it's getting and if it's going to be a, a threat or not. We spoke with Warren Snyder this morning, who lives just north of the Highway 337 and 217 intersection, an area that isn't being told to get out. But people who live south of that, though, like Jeremy Sherrod, were advised to leave yesterday as the fire creeps closer and closer. But Sherrod chose to stay and keep watch of his neighbor's properties and then some. My neighbor had to leave the other day and she had to leave her donkey behind and they wouldn't let the horse rescue come up past the uh, evacuation lines. So we had to bring her back, bring her down here about three or four miles. This fire continues moving east, but the wind could change that at any moment, which is what people who live north of the fire fear. The latest maps show the fire lines have almost reached Highway 337 near Chilili. Now, Jessica, of course, we will be inside this community meeting at 430. We'll bring you the latest details on what officials have to say about this fire at 530. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Madeline. The other community meeting is at 7 in Estancia. We have all that information for you on KRQE.com and on our KRQE News app.